Good morning. Tom Beal here at the beautiful beach in Boca Raton at the end of Palmetto Park. And it is absolutely gorgeous, nice and calm today. And I'm excited to share some insights that I gained three years ago now. And I know exactly when it occurred because it occurred on my 40th birthday. And Tuesday of this upcoming week is my 43rd birthday. So in order to hear the mic better, I'm gonna switch the, the, the camera around. All right, so, and I also learned that the sun uh, makes my phone heat up and uh, shut down. So I'm in the shade a little bit here, but it's still behind me beating, so I'll, I'll keep it brief. Good morning. All right, so here is the lesson of speaking with your past and future selves. So here it goes. On my 40th birthday, I was driving to work. I was the president of Strategic Profits, working with one of my heroes and making a positive difference in the world uh, at a great level. However, on my 40th birthday, it, it was a reflecting question that I asked, man, I'm turning 40, hard to believe. What would I tell myself at 20 years old? If I were to have a conversation with myself 20 years ago, now that I'm 40, what would I tell myself? What words of wisdom would I share with my 20 year old self? So this happened three years ago. And three years uh, prior to that, or 20 years prior to that, I was brand new into the United States Marine Corps and 20 years old. Um, a hard charge of marine and I told myself in my mind on the drive to work from being 40 to 20 say man first of all I don't know how you do it how you get out of certain things unknown to me there's no light at the end of that tunnel somehow with keeping your head up and keeping taking one step at a time you get some light at the end of the tunnel and you get out of that tunnel and we're talking health relationships finances all three aspects you get out of some crazy stuff man I don't know how you do it and you make miracles happen so that's part one. Part two, I asked if I had any wisdom to impart to my 20 year old self, what would that be? And here's that wisdom. And I would ask you to consider this as well. Get clear on what you want. Get clear on what you want. Crystal clear on what you want for your health, what you want for your relationships, and what you want for your financial situation. Because when you're clear on what you want, you always get it. Think back. Think back in your life. When you've been super clear on that's what I want. That's the the girl I want, that's the guy I want, that's the job I want, that's the vacation I want, that's the whatever I want. When you're super clear on it, look back. Obstacles, sure, they came up. Uh, surprises, absolutely. But you overcame each and every one of those and got what you were seeking. So that was some cool conversation in my mind, going back at 40 years old into my mind at 20 years old. Then I said, wow, that was a pretty cool experience. What would I tell myself at six, what would I, if I was going future, self and have my 60 year old self come back and talk to me now, what would that 60 year old self say to me? And keep in mind, I was doing what I loved, making a big impact in the world and here's where my honorary 60 year old self came to me. And he said, look, you think these last 20 years went fast from being 20 to 40? Wait and see how quickly these next 20 go. It happens in the blink of an eye. You're going to be here at 60 years old before you know it. And I don't want you to be here by suppressing your dreams. You need to reach down, grab a pair, and step out and do the things that you know you should be doing and you've been suppressing. Don't get to my age by not singing the songs that are within you, by suppressing the dreams. You go out and you go risk uncertainty, risk failure, and go accomplish what you know you've been meant to accomplish and wanting to accomplish, but have been too fearful to go do it. So my six-year-old self really kicked me in the pants and said, look, you think these last 20 years went, went fast? These next 20 go even faster. And I came up with this analogy. Think of this. You put a brand new roll of toilet paper on your, on your hinge there in the, to in the bathroom. When you first put that big roll of toilet paper on it, it seems pretty big. And you pull off and use it, and it stays pretty big for a while. Then when it gets to the end, it goes really quickly. Similarly in life, think about that. When you're one and turn two, you've doubled your age. When you're two and turn three, you're one third older, etc. So as you get older, it's like the, the small end of that toilet paper. It goes much more quickly. So mathematically and toilet paper analogy wise, the years go faster and faster. So don't get to yourself 20 years from now suppressing your dreams. Don't be fearful to step into uncertainty. Don't be fearful to not take steps that are weird to others, but you know that's the step you need to take for your health, for your relationships, and for your finances. That's powerful.
Think about that for a little bit. Where have you been letting fear run your life instead of faith? Where have you been ignoring that intuition within and continuing on with the script that's in place of your life when you know it's time to tear that script up and create a new script? Hopefully this is striking you as deeply as it struck me three years ago when my, my 60 year old self told my 40 year old self to get off my duff and start taking action that I knew I needed to take and have been suppressing. So don't let yourself get to your 20 year future self with, with fearful actions. Take bold actions. Follow the path that your intuition is pointing you towards, that your dreams are pulling you towards so that you can become that future self that you are capable of becoming. So it's getting a little warm here in the sun. I hope this was helpful. Go to TomBeal.tv, TomBeal.tv to be uh, uh, immediately brought to numerous live videos that I've recorded like this that are super helpful. So you can access those at TomBeal.tv. Until our paths cross next time, make today great.